Hello friends, I'd like to help you check if the door that is coming to you is from God because it's not every door that opens to you is from God. How do you know whether that door is from God or not? Number one, does it violate the scriptures? First, Second Timothy 3, 16. All scriptures inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for correcting, for rebooking, and for trading in righteousness. If it's from God, it will line up with the scriptures. If it's violating the scripture, it's probably not from God. Number two, does it glorify God? First Corinthians 10 and verse 31. Whatever you do, whether you eat or you drink, do it to the glory of God. If that door does not glorify God, it's probably not from God. Every door that God is opening for you will glorify Him. Number three, do you have peace? If you have peace, it's probably from God. For Philippians 4, 6 and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer and petition, make your request. And the peace of God that passes all other sign you regard your heart in Christ Jesus. First Thessalonians 3, 16, may God give you peace at all times and in every way. If it's from God, you have peace. If you are losing your peace about it, please hold on. It's probably not from God. Number four, if the door that God is opening to you is from God, you will, God will use other people to joy, to give you confirmation of it. So listen to what your wife will say. Listen to what your husband will say. Listen to what your pastor will say. Listen to what your disciple will say. Listen to what your accountability partner will say. Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron. Proverbs 15, 22, in the multitude of counsel that is safety. Finally, if the door that God is opening to use from God, it will help you to grow spiritually. It will not take you away from God. 2 Peter 3, 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus. The door that God is opening to you, if it's taking you away from God, it's probably not from God. God will not give is children something that will endanger their life and their spirituality. I hope this helps. Thank you. God bless you.